So, that whole sequence was filmed with this one. It's a GoPro Hero 9 Black. I had a blast filming with it. Uh, I took it out for two days, tried it out to see, tried the settings and I'm all new to filming on a GoPro, but it was so easy to get to, like, get to know the camera and kind of know what settings to use. So for someone that's new to photography and filming, it's definitely a good investment. Uh, it's not as expensive as a uh, regular camera as well. Uh, my GH5 here costs roughly 18,000 crowns, Swedish crowns. That's around maybe almost $2,000. So we'll say that's, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know, but I think it's around 2,000. For being a, a, a small camera like this, it got a bunch of potential. Switch out the lens, put a ND filter on, uh, there's like 
mods you can put on. Disclaimer, all of this stuff I bought by myself. Please GoPro send me, send me stuff, it would be nice. Like maybe one more of these, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt, let's say. But with a camera I also bought, as I said, you can put ND filters on. I bought three of them. Uh, but these ones are perfect if you want some little motion blur. Maybe it's too light, the, the light is too harsh outside. So you put these on. Uh, I used ND8 for pretty much this whole, the whole video because it was pretty sunny outside. It was later on the day I took it off. Another thing that's good with that you can dismount the, the lens so or like this part here is if for some reason uh, I don't think it's really you never know you can get a scratch something and crack the glass it's just easy to pop it off and replace this part instead of replacing this whole camera way cheaper as well I bought a bunch of uh, mounts to the camera uh, but I only used two of them during these two clips or trips one of them is this clip grip it's like a shark teeth here but you can mount it to stuff you can like mount it to your cap your hat like this uh, it turns as well so I didn't know that right away so every time I like wanted to turn it I relocated the camera I took it off put it back on that way so that's a good thing you know you can turn it like this just turn it I didn't buy a bite mount so I just use this one for some of the shots I would say vlogging with a GoPro camera is it was so easy uh, used talk to it you just use it the audio was it's okay it's pretty good i think it's probably better than the mic i have on my gh5 at the moment but it was so like it's not as big it's not as clumpy holding a, a dslr camera and vlogging with it was just a little easy camera and with that i was gonna move over to the next mount i brought uh, this casing is on right now but it's this selfie stick right here. Uh, it was quite easy holding it, moving it around like this. And back to the vlogging part, like mounting the camera to this, talking to it, it was so easy. That's a chair, I'm sorry. I'm always having a hard time finding focus. Most of my videos, even this, like these, this part, it's hard for me because I'm having a hard time tracking focus. So with a GoPro camera, because you don't have an aperture, like everything is fo in focus. And it's such a wild field of view. It's very simple. You just put the camera up, press record, and you're good to go. And also because I, I suck at color grading, GoPro have this stuff that called uh, GoPro Color. And it actually makes a good job with the colors in the video, in the footage. I just put it on there, uh, uh, mixed around with the settings a little bit. Yeah, you can put the settings on whatever you want. I, I used a couple of different presets during the, these two days. Uh, I made them up myself, just a little bit like what could I need, what could I use. One was pretty much a selfie preset that I, when I was fillin filming with the selfie stick, holding it up, and get a little bit of wild, wider field of view. I had a, a set on linear with a 5K on 24 frames per second. Uh, the second one was uh, POV. Uh, even there was, I put the settings on super wide, uh, 4K, uh, 24 frames per second, just to get like this wider field of view, view when I was fighting onto it or having it on my helmet. I had two like epic presets for cinematic and b-roll parts uh, both of them were 2.7k with 120 frames per second but the difference was one was on super wide and the other one was just linear 
to make it more like, like straightening out the image. But that one, I want it to feel like I want to use, like I want to see everything. So I put it on Super View. I also tested it in water a little bit, but I don't know if uh, I did something wrong. Uh, this one, like just with this one, it's waterproof 10 meters. But I had some problems that you could see it in some of the footage that the lens kind of got like, it was kind of mist on the lens afterwards. I had a little bit of a hard time after. I think if you're gonna do like water stuff with it, just go water stuff. Don't like put it up and back, like up and down on the water, film in the woods. So it kind of like ruined some of the footage a little bit. Some parts it looks kind of cool but other parts it's not that pleasing for the eye. I also tried photographing a little bit with it. Uh, it actually turned out really amazing, the photos. Uh, it shoots in, I think it's 20 megapixels, photographing with it. Uh, I hadn't set up any presets, so I just used whatever was in the camera already, uh, the default settings. Uh, the raw footage, it's really nice, the raw footage, like you get a lot, like with a wider lens. I also tried the burst mode, but when I exported the footage, I noticed that they were all shot in JPEG and I don't know if you can put the burst, like have the burst mode with raw footage, but it's something I had to find out. But yeah, but the picture ended up good anyway, but I don't think I'm gonna use them for Instagram. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Uh, consider go to my Instagram and follow me there uh, if you wanna see the f pictures that I take. If you wanna buy prints, you can go to the link down below. Uh, you see all the pictures that I upload there. Uh, it's my personal choice. Go subscribe uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.